Darnell has chosen his brothers Marvin and Nathan to be his best men. Yeah. Tell me cool this. My first initial thought was, why me God? So I was looking at the sky. I was <laughs> like, I don't know the first thing about weddings. I try my best to avoid them. Cheers. You're free, yeah? No. I'm so not ready for it. All right, cool, cool. Back to sleep then, innit? <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> it's gonna be manic, but I don't know. I don't know if we'll be able to pull it off or not, but yeah, fingers crossed, innit? Pray to the most high. You know what I mean? But God isn't going to organise this wedding for them. They've got to pull their finger out. First thing I'm going to have to do is get a drink. Because I can't be like thinking about this stuff too much. There's no fears on Darnell. The fears are on Marvin and Nathan. And they would want to do right by their brother and Katie. But the fact is, it's not their wedding day, is it? I'm just focusing on the stagnant. <laughs> they can do it however they want to do it. It doesn't matter what we think. So they're going to think, great, this is the first time we're in control and the girls <laughs> aren't. You know, we're not pulling the puppet strings. Music. No, um, dress. Oh. Yeah. We've got to get the dress in there <laughs> before music. <laughs> they might do something a little bit crazy. I'd love to get my dog walking down the aisle, <laughs> coming down as ring bearer. His neck was put around his neck or something. Yeah. yeah. His neck. That's nuts. But Darnell's mother Mo knows what should be first on their list a church. I'm sure it's three weeks and they've got to, you know, sort of like make their intention known that they plan to get married and I know that's got to, it's not even it's not even any point in picking a hall even if they found one that was available if they haven't got that bit covered with the clock ticking the temptation to step in is too great if you're going to go to a church there's a period of time that they have to make sure that people can contest I think one of the first thing you need to do is, is definitely to find, find out about that. Find out about that. Thank you. Mo's timely intervention gives Darnell a bit of focus. I've grown up as a Catholic, so for me, a church was a big part of my life. So to have it in the church would just be, it would be fantastic, literally. Katie also wants a religious ceremony. It's my dream to get married in a church because for me, obviously, religion runs through my family. My granddad's really religious and stuff like that. So me taking my vows in, in the Lord's house in front of everyone that I love means a massive thing to me. With his mother's foot firmly up his backside, Darnell gets on the phone to his parish priest. I'm looking to get married at the end of May. We are very serious in getting married. But at such short notice, the priest isn't convinced. OK, thank you very much, though. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. It looks like Darnell's ambitions for a church wedding are dead in the water. The road is long. This ain't going to be what I wanted. I wanted him to be that. Like. the spirits, man. Get the spirits up, bro. You know? He made it sound like I wasn't taking it serious, so it makes it sound almost like everywhere's going to be thinking the same sort of thing. You can, you can get married anywhere, bro. As long as you believe in God and the Most High, and as long as you believe within yourself and as you pray, let the love show. <laughs> That's the main thing, isn't it? It's the love, isn't it? That's the reason you're getting married in the first place. Totally worst nightmare is... Once we're registry office. <laughs> Don't even start, Mum, right? Shabby community. Yeah. <laughs> ones, ones with registry office for a start would just really upset me. Hopes for a church wedding abandoned, Darnell goes for plan B. Okay, so this, this is the marble hall. I like the look of that. This is the first floor. Latin's nice. This is nice. This is the area where we marry people. That would be perfect, yeah. He would never do that, not in a million years. Well, you don't know. No, he wouldn't. You don't know. He wouldn't. You don't know, Mum. We don't know. I'm telling you that. He wouldn't, because I'm stressing. Do you know, I think if my bride walked into this, especially her making her big entrance up these stairs, like trailing up, I think she would love it. I thought that marble hall just looked banging. I did like that. I thought that was beautiful. So, yeah. I'm kind of bouncing right about now. I'm out there, I'm out there. I'm out of my box. I'm out of my box and I'm looking down on the world. You here with me? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Why not? I just don't understand what that metaphor meant. 
hope Darnell could end up in a six-foot box if he settles for the registry office. Then divine intervention strikes. His auntie Sharon has given him details of her church in South London. But with only 16 days until the wedding, Darnell has to convince the minister that he's serious. I'm shaking because I'm so nervous. And this is like the second most important thing to me. The first most important thing to me is the fact that I'm marrying Katie, of course. The second thing is that the, the fact of um, having it in the church. If I can get it in a church, that would be just so blessed. And right now, that's what I want. So fingers crossed, pray, and just hope it goes well. Hi, Pastor. I've come to you basically just to um, find out about my wedding. I was looking to get married for the end of this month, um, looking at the date, the 30th. You're really cutting it fine, you realise that? But yes, I understand. the fact that, that uh, your aunt um, is a member here, mm -hmm. and a pretty good connection, then, yeah, it is possible. Oh, thank you. It is possible. Yeah, we can, we can do that. Words can't even express right now. All I'm saying is thank you. That's all I'm saying is thank you. See you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I can't even talk. My head's just not. I'm not in the right fright frame of mind right now. Um, I've got my date. That's what matters. I've got my date. I've got my church. Everything's set. So on that side there, that's perfect. Now it's just time to move on for the rest of the stuff. But right now. I'm going to go home and sit down and dwell on the fact that I've got my church. Everything else can wait. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, thank you. Everything else can't wait. The church may be in the bag, but he still needs to find a reception venue before he can send out invitations. 